Happy Wednesday. Happy 2019 Bowman Baseball Day, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with an eight-box jumbo break of the brand-new Bowman Baseball. We've got right above my head, you'll see Nick's hands right there. He'll be helping me pack stack. And there it is right there. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into it. And congrats to Dave Barrows. Got the Blue Jays in a spot random, so congrats to him. All right, let's pop this guy open. Let's see, let's see what we hit, folks. Good luck, everybody. Oh, what's the what's our poster this year? Silver pack promo. Oh, okay, there you go. At our store. So the Jumbo has three per box here. Need another table. You think a UPS guy goes like, what? what is in all this stuff? All right. So we've got Eloy Jimenez on one side. We've got Vlad Guerrero Jr. on the other side. Got Nick Jaspi helping me in the uh, camera above my head. So what's going to happen is he's we're going to slide a box right over here, and he's going to open up packs there. So. All right, John O in the house. TJ saying uh, a name in Double A to watch for the Dodgers drillers. Cody Thomas, a former Oklahoma quarterback, with three homers today. All right. What position does he play? Can you get Matt? Uh, if we got Matt. He pulled a Matt Johnson. Matt he Johnson did. pulled a Matt. He did pull. Matt Johnson pulled a Matt. Yeah. I'm going to keep door dashing until I get him. I and I'll be like. He's going to quit that. Be like, hey, where'd you go? I quit that. Lame-o. Wait, hold on, Darren. Are, are you saying they, they, sh they should lock me up for the Beach Boy comment with the cop? Santa Monica police, what are they going to do? In the outfield to see you, nice. I want to go to Thanksgiving games, but now they're not here. Right? That is the same person, Darren. They're releasing at like 8 p.m. That is TJ right there. You're, you're director of merchandise at the Tulsa Drillers. And the Roughnecks, too, actually. So it's got both. All right, so let's move these over here. And then Nick Jaspi's going to slide a stack of cards into the frame right here. All right. Good luck, everyone. So room breeze through. That's kind of a neat design this year. And we've got Orelvis. Or Elvis, okay. Or Elvis Martinez, 84 out of 160, blue paper. There's Jared Kalanick right here. Ready for the show, and there's Taylor Widener. Taylor Widener for the Diamondbacks, Jonathan Martin. Josh Gregory says, haven't got a chance to see the checklist. Who is the guy to hit this year? I remember having a Taylor Lautner. So, the actor? Nobody, yeah, he's a nobody. The guy who played the uh, Twilight. in Twilight? 
Yeah, he's just a no, random... he's a nobody. Yeah, he's 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 he's, he's a nobody. He's done now. Um, no, I didn't see that. Well, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Josh Gregory, is a big name. Fernando Tatis Jr. as well. So the kid's a former big leaguers. No, you, I saw Taylor Wildman. That's what I thought. Oh, okay. It wasn't just out of the blue. Yeah, I was just like, where did, where did Taylor... Left field. <laughs> it's just like you were just sitting there ripping packs. Yeah. yeah, and just being like, whatever happened to Taylor Lautner? Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. What was that one with... Uh, Mike Trout? No, I watched that other movie. It was kind of like that loud boy. Those oh, ones with the thumbs. I get some focus here. Oh, Sorry. Spy, Spy Kids. Kids. I mean, that's a goat franchise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. Give me a second here. Uh, you can go to groupbreakchecklist.com, Rick, or cardboardconnection.com. I think I do have it saved on my spreadsheet somewhere, but I'm in the middle of something right now. Give me a second. Are these the one per? Yeah, no. Oh that's no, a that's a different. That's a numbered card, right? There. I didn't even see it. Oh, all those sparkles. Per atomic. That's for hobby. Oh, it's hobby it's only. The same as gotcha. Got it. All right, so that's Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. Oh, thanks, TJ. And we got Jake Bowers. Nice. This is Ray's edition of Jake Bowers. Out of four ninety nine. Named after Jack Bauer from twenty four. That's right. So that's out of four ninety nine. That's Ray's edition. He's on the Indians now. That'll go to Luke Smith, who has the tribe. We'll breeze through all this paper, slow down on these. So paper base doesn't ship, and did I see veteran commons don't ship as well? Yeah, which there, I don't think there are veteran chrome commons, but if oh, uh, but if there are any, I don't know. Most likely, all that will be shipped. But no paper any. ships. So. Yeah, paper doesn't ship. That we know. Pretty for much sure. all the chrome does. So. Kristen Stewart's been hitting some monsters. Seeing some regular playing time now. There's Atomic Talent Pipeline right here. That's to 150 for the Angels. Brandon Marsh, Joe Adele, Matt Tice. Tice? 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 That goes to the Angels. That's for Robert Rincon. And we've got Griffin Canning, 22 out of 50 gold. Another nice one for the Angels. The coating feels different on this this year, does it not? A little different, yeah. Maybe I think it's a different, a little slicker maybe? Yeah. There we go. Facsimile autograph right there, all right. Oh, the numbers are all on the front? Yeah. Okay. The refractors, too. Cool. Which is nice to see. Yeah. Thanks, Bowman. And we got Chris Shaw. 122 out of 150. Oppo, Joe Mojo, going to Kyle. Kyle F. and the San Francisco Giants. stack here. So you can see 
everything stacked up right here and right there. And on the above camera, you'll see Nick Jaspi ripping the packs there once again. So this is Jumbo 1, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep that in mind. And then we've got others that are very close to filling. Just a few teams away on most of the, uh, the pick your teams. So let's keep it going, especially while, uh, especially while Nick Jaspi's here to help out. Let's take advantage of that so we can breeze through some of these longer breaks a little more quickly. There's Genesis Cabrera. Nice. For such a cool name, I wish he had a cooler autograph. Come on, Genesis. That's for the Redbirds, the Cardinals. That's going to go to Keith. That's right, Ray. Bowman Day, welcome. Another one for the Cardinals. Uh, this is a paper right here out of 4 99 29 out of 4 99 Adalis Garcia. And we've got another. This one's a refractor, 220 out of 4 99 Dylan Cease. For the White Sox, that's going to go to Cody. Mr. Mike's Daddy, Chris Hale, what's going on? Downer. We'll get tax for it soon. For opening Bowman. Uh, yes, I, I am happy with Walker Bueller's performance today. I mean, he's still kind of in spring training. That's for the Twins. So it's good to see him kind of, kind of get some six solid innings in today. Which is good. Sonny Gray looked really good too. I've got him. Got Sonny Gray on my fantasy team. He did give up a three-run homer to AJ Pollock, but for the most part, he had like eight or nine strikeouts today. So it was a good pitching duel. Uh, Lion Richardson to 150, and we'll sleeve and top load all of those obviously before they go out. Just in the interest of time, we want to breeze through these a little more quickly. Uh, the Giants are high dollar. Who's the big hit on there? Joey Bart. Joey Bart is their their top catching prospect. He, you know, the obvious you know the obvious thing for the Giants is like, hey, this is new Buster Posey. That's the hype, and apparently he's the real deal though. It's not just he's the next you know Buster Posey. He might actually be two twelve out of four ninety nine. Dom Thompson Williams for the Yankees. Josh Wright with that one. Wander Patrick, Frank, Patrick Franco, Goodwin, Joey Bart, uh, Victor Victor Mesa is good. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Joe Adele, Fernando Tatis Jr., Aloy Jimenez. Pretty much any team that's expensive, you know they're good. Yeah, any team that's expensive. The Mariners are good with Kikuchi. That's right. That's pretty good. Japanese lefty, I think. Who I think already has a couple starts. He does. He's been doing okay. Luis uh, Garcia to 125. That is for the Nats. And Atomic Card Guy, Rick, I think Giants have also been kind of rebuilding their farm system too, so they might have some... Chris Shaw. Some, yeah, Chris Shaw. Like, there's some under-the-radar guys for the Giants as well. Basically, all the bad teams are real lifers, I think. Right. 
Yeah, all the bad teams in real life are good in Bowman. Yeah, Wander Franco is a big one for the Rays. They're the most expensive team. <clears throat> yep, that's Wander Franco. D. Porter and Nick just mentioned that, Patrick. There's Steven Duger to 150. He's pretty good. Rookie Blue Paper. Yeah, he's, he's been playing pretty well. There's Brady Singer to 299. That's for the Royals. That's going to go to EA. I told you guys to draft Austin Meadows. Did you draft him? I did not draft Austin Meadows. I, I, uh, he I think on someone, my sleeper I, list. I think someone kept him. Oh. He's AL Player of the Week. He's smashing. The Rays are really good. But I think um, Blake Snell's hurt. Though. Did you hear how he got hurt? No. Fortnite? He fractured his toe. What? Coming out of the shower. Apparently he has like these decorative spheres that are on a pole. And he said he was trying to move it out of the way. Oh, man. And the pole, this was heavy at pole his house? at his house, like fell on his toe. He said he was, he, he was like, I'm so, he's so embarrassed. Like he was just like. I it's like be... that guy, it's like, uh, who was it? Trevor Bowers who had the, the drone injury. The drone injury, got stitches in his okay. fingers. It's like, that was like during playoffs too, wasn't it? There's one guy who had, uh, yeah, injury for. Something like the Wii or something. That that's got to go into like that. The greatest injury. The Snell injury has to go into injury. like yeah, wacky baseball player injuries. Yeah, it's crazy. There's Don Thompson Williams again, just regular version, not numbered. I don't think they have red ink autos in here, right? No. Brian O's asking. So. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, well, this is definitely a a prospecting product. You know, this is like you go to the, you go to California in 1849 and you're panning for gold. You know, like, you end up with this guy, right? Like, you know, what's he going to be? The obvious big names, you know, you're, you're counting on them making it to the big leagues and doing well, but there's also a lot of under-the-radar guys that can come out of nowhere. I remember what happened with, uh, with like, Reese Hoskins. That's a, that's a recent one. Trevor Story. You know, those guys were not, like, you know, highly touted, highly hyped big name prospects, right? But all of a sudden they they kind of came out of nowhere and everyone was like, "Oh my god, where where are their Bowman cards? Where are their you know, I think they were, some of those were in like Panini Elite Extra edition stuff like that. People were like, "Where are they?" There's Kyle Wright, rookie auto Kyle Wright. That's uh for Josh Pruce and the Bravos. All right, a pretty solid prospect. Fifth overall pick back in 2017. I think he just got sent down just to work some things out. He was in the rotation for a little bit. Um, remember all those Tuki Toussaint redemptions that we got a couple years ago? Tuki Toussaint is taking his spot in the rotation. And if he can manage to keep that electric arm under control, he's going to get a lot of strikeouts. All right, yeah, Chris Lombardo saying, hey, Mookie Betts was never a top, you know, never a highly hyped top prospect. So he's okay now. Um, probably the Marlins, maybe the Rays. If I had a fire Giants are good too. It's hard to say. I mean, you have to keep up with a lot of prospect news if you want to yeah. die. I mean, if you really love baseball, pretty much any one of these teams would be kind of fun. Or any team that you may you may end up watching more than your own team. You know what I mean? But it's their best card to get, so they'll never have a higher selling rookie card. Right. I mean, Aaron Judge, Yankees, he was like a bust, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron Judge technically was kind of a bust. And now look at him. Yeah, Mookie Betts. I remember his stuff was pretty cheap, too. 
There is Julio Pablo Martinez, 39 out of 299. He's got a nice autograph. I like that sparkle parallel here. That goes to the Texas Rangers, Alex Donnelly. Now, there you go, Alex. Mike Tower saying, looked up Wander Franco online to look up to see about him. Looks like his father and his two brothers are also named Wander Franco. It's like Victor Mesa Jr. and Victor Victor Mesa. I think Vlad Guerrero is a real deal. I think Vlad is a real deal as well. I saw him launch one probably to the, to the moon the other night in AAA. Yeah, he's going to be called up soon. Yeah, he'll be called up in a couple weeks. Well, if they wait, they get an extra year of arbitration or whatever. I also think he's coming off an oblique injury, so I think they want to be... And they're not competing this year. Kind of concerned. Yeah, I saw that the other night. He's like better than his dad. Um, him and his dad, I, th I, th I think some of you may have seen this stat being floated around on like MLB Network and whatever, ESPN as well. There's a uh, Mason Martin for the Pirates, but he has pretty similar stats, minor league stats to his dad. Like, I think they've played almost the same amount of games before they were called up. There you go. That goes to the Buckos. That's going to be for Jared. And so, I mean, he's going to be called up pretty soon, too. And obviously, Fernando Tatis Jr. is already playing, and he's raking. And he's making great defensive plays, too. So that's going to keep him in the lineup Eloy if he Jimenez. ever hits, like, a rookie wall or something like that. Eloy Jimenez, too. Eloy Jimenez is a real deal. <laughs> There's Logan Webb to 125. I think Vlad Jr. as a third baseman too. I think baseballs for some reason are is they're able to kind of project third baseman a little bit better, right? Like highly touted third basemen tend to do tend to become good players, you know what I mean? So that's you also have to think about position, too. Tons of starting pitchers, right? So sometimes those those pitching prospects, even if they're top prospects, maybe they won't, they won't sell maybe as well as like third baseman or something like that, or shortstops even. There's Brady Singer. Nice. 12 out of 50. It's gold shimmer autograph for EA and the Royals. Wow, someone pulled a Nick Madrigal Super Fractal already. I think that's another corner player for the White Sox, right? Third baseman, I think. I think if you're prospecting too, maybe uh, college players are going to end up in the majors sooner than like high school draftees, obviously. So you can also look out for those guys. 35 out of 50 gold paper, Franklin Colomb. Or Kilome, like Alex Colome. through this paper. This paper won't be shipping, but pretty much everything else will. There's Reggie Lawson to 150 blue chrome for the Padres. Mike Tower saying, looks like Vlad's, Vlad Sr.'s rookie card was back in 1995. Are there, are there father-son Hall of Fame combos? Is Ken Griffey Sr. in the Hall of Fame? 
No, right? Yes? So there's Vlad Guerrero Jr., so... Senior's definitely not. Senior's definitely not, right? I would think no. Yeah, I'm thinking no. I don't know, he wasn't even that... I mean, he's good. Not Hall of Fame good. So I don't think there is, like, a father-son or even sibling... Sibling Hall of Famers? I think there's sibling Hall of Famers? father-son, too. But we just don't think about it. Could be, like, someone from, like, the 1930s and yeah. then, like, the 1950s. Senior. So does it, anyone want to wager a guess Bobby on? Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds are they? In, is Bobby? In, I guess. I Barry's see it. Not I don't. There. Well, Barry's not in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's so stupid. Um, Felipe Alou and Moises Alou. The Alou's. Ray Boone and Bob Boone. Boone's not. Al I don't think. Todd Stoudemire. I guess not. And there's Kybert Ruiz. Nice. It's a top catching prospect for the Dodgers. 35 out of 50. Little Dodger Joe Mojo going to John Anderson. Nice. Billy Rukin's not the Hall of Fame, Darren. Come on. You know, a Hall, Hall of Fame analyst, maybe. On, a, on MLB Network. Nice Kyber Ruiz. You might see him next year. The Wainers from uh, Pittsburgh? Yeah. Are they really? Larry and Lee McPhail, too. Nice. How's, how's he doing there, over there, TJ? And we've got Dean Kremer. Right, yeah, Billy Ripken has a Hall of Fame baseball card. <laughs> this one goes to Kai Hang Chen with this one. The Mark Jackson card is crazy. Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys all remember the Mark Jackson basketball card, right? It's got the Menendez brothers. With the uh, Menendez brothers back there. Now that's smart. And it was like just discovered. Like Recently, yeah. And then that cart's already going for like a hundred bucks a pop or something like that. Someone was just looking and then, then they're, they're like, like, hey, wait a second. Out of 150, I that's Joe Adele. Those two brothers. I didn't really think about that. I never heard of <coughs> That was a crazy case in LA back in the day. Well, I think Vlad Guerrero Jr., this is obviously way, way, way too early, but Vlad Guerrero Jr., if there's ever a father-son duo that could be in the Hall of Fame, that could be it right there. That has, that has the best shot. Yeah, that hoops card. Is it fifteen dollars now? I think when that first when it was first discovered, one of the first card couple cards or two were like hitting a hundred bucks. I think there's Shane Boz to two fifty, purple paper. That goes to the Rays. That's for Daniel with the Rays. I don't think either of those guys are in the Hall of Fame. I think Prince Fielder's career was cut short by those neck injuries. So I think he never got to really he could have he could have played like another 5 7 years, I think. He might have been able to put up Hall of Fame numbers, but Who? Prince F Prince Fielder? Oh. Then he got that neck injury cut his career short. He did get paid, that's for sure. Oh, we have a Chrome Prospect Autograph Speckle Refractor Parallel. Let's look, let's look this guy up. Where's my, uh, 
we'll use the 2019 Baseball America Prospect Handbook. Let's see what this guy is all about. Do they have an index? I can look by his last name. He better be in here, otherwise I might not want him. Uh huh. There he is, page two thirty-four. Padres. Close. You're in the right division. Right. South. Rockies. It's wow. There's another catching prospect for the Dodgers, Diego Cartaya. TJ, what do you know about Diego? Oh, he might only be in single A. Seventeen years old, for the Dodgers, prospect eleven. There he is right there. There's all your information on him. Boom. You like that knowledge right there? There you go. There's Diego Cartaya for the Dodgers. And that's for John Anderson. Nice. So TJ saying that Kybert Ruiz is hitting like 390 right now. And Dustin May, yeah. Oh, is he, oh he's still in Great Lakes. Cartaya. Um, I feel like Dustin May could end up getting a cup of coffee later this year. Maybe in the, maybe in the bullpen for a little bit. There's Ryan Weathers to 250. Um, if Nick hadn't helped, Jumbo's a little bit faster. Jumbo should take, if I do a Jumbo by myself, should be a little over an hour around there. The Hobby takes longer. Hobby would take me solo. Hobby will t probably take me 120. 67 out of 150, Joe Adele. So yeah, with help, we, we basically are able to cut these time frames kind of in half. Out of 499, Christian Yelich paper. He's been raking. And there's John Duplantier to 499. He's been pitching well too. You gotta train like a marathon. <clears throat> cut, cut the times. Like a marathon runner. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we should coach seminars on how to do it. On how to open the pack the most efficient, the most efficient way. Have, have pack ribbing seminars. We can do that. Like a 40 yard dash type thing. Oh, Ruiz bang 216, but Gavin Lux is batting 390. Where are they going to put Gavin Lux? He's, he's kind of, I guess, I guess you would try to put him at second. You know, if they, I guess maybe they don't re sign Kike and Chris Taylor in a couple years or whatever they're. Contracts are up. Kind of mix, yeah, kind of mix, Gavin Lux into the mix. NL says the I one of these were numbered. It's they still bat the pitchers. That's why they're cursed. I think they're going to get rid of that. They should. That's why the AL is dominating. Except for the Cubs. And there's, for the Padres, it's Ornelas, Tirso Ornelas, purple chrome autograph out of 250. For the Friars, that goes to Jared Nichter and the Padres. One eighty out of two fifty. I uh, have not noticed any reds hit yet, Russ, here in Jumbo One. These are all done? Yeah, those are all done.
also, going back to that father-son, Brian O saying Roberto Alomar's in the hall. Sandy Alomar Jr.? Is he still on the ballot? Are they brothers? I think they're brothers, right? But like, yeah, so sibling or father-son team. Paul Lloyd Wainer, that's the only one, I think. Those are the only Brothers. players I know. Out of 499, Joe Adele, 60 out of 499. Love the highlights of Paul, Paul Wainer. Oh, yeah, I remember I remember I growing know. up watching Paul Wainer all the time. Me too, yeah. Paul and Lloyd Wainer. Yeah. You guys, everyone remembers that, right? Remember, kids nowadays don't appreciate. Don't Wayner. appreciate the the, the Wayner brothers. There's Darian Cruz, 34 out of 150. You know, just firing up the old wireless. Paul practically invented the bunt. The bunt play, as we know it today. Is that right? No. <laughs> All right, that's for the Bravos. That's going to go to Josh Pruce. Sorry about that. I think Brendan McKay made a good start the other day. I think he could still hit too. Although I think he's a better pitcher than a hitter. But I think the Rays are intending intending to use him as a as a two way player, like Otani. Hunter Green. Hunter Green, I think. Get down, down with the TJ, I think, and that's not Tom from Tulsa. <laughs> He's just, not so you can just Tommy John. Be like Tommy, just hit. Oh yeah, we were discussing it earlier, Mr. Mike. Said no, both are not even in the hall. Both aren't in the hall. Barry should be. I don't know if if Bobby ever will be. Maybe if Veterans Committee, I think, at this point. There's uh, Adam Hasley to 299. That's right. Yeah. We were watching the watching the Wainers. Just as as kids, you know, just fire up the old wireless, you know, listen to the sounds of WPIT Pirates Radio. That was great. There's JD Martinez to fifty. Those were the days. JD Martinez gold paper for the Red Sox. Chris Ensworth. One time, a fireside chat with the president interrupted the game. So. Oh, that was terrible. That was the worst thing. Careful with the Sony OLED. And watch out for that. There's Will Stewart for the Phillies. 73 out of 250. Where there's a will, there's a way for Ricky Buffalo. Buffalo! Buffalo Gold. Just have uh, these stacks left right here, folks. So we're about that much away from closing out this break. Yeah, I think we did shave about a solid 20, 30 minutes off this. Thanks, Nick. Uh, almost done, folks.
This is Jumbo One, ladies and gentlemen. We'll check orders after this, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what else is filling out. There's Adam again to 250 purple paper. The hobbies are a little longer. Yeah, hobbies will be a little bit longer. Although, with pack stacking, names are short because there's, there's less cards to go through. There's more packs, less cards. Though. More packs, less cards. Maybe it just evens out. Yeah. We're at 40 on this one. There's Victor Victor. Just flew by that Tucson paper, which is going to be, uh, he's going to make his first star of the year tomorrow. We've got a gold autograph. Nice. That's two out of 50. Elahuris Montero. Gold auto four for Keith and the Cardinals. Nice. Cardinals beating the Brewers today by a score of... Six to three, beating the Brewers in the finale of that series. Um, I heard that uh, Brian O on the. Uh, I was listening to the end of the Dodgers game on the way back, and on the post-game show they mentioned that. The biggest shame is that Chris Davis ended up getting a hit. I was hoping that would go for a while. He hit the day after I pulled that one. <clears throat> he was 0 for 54. He's been hitting. And he's gotten some RBIs so got, now, too. So he has two, he's 2 he's, for he's, 60. He's got like three or four hits now. He's 2 for 60. But yeah, Brian, oh, that, that was pretty crazy. Joey Votto popped out to the first baseman which is something just he hadn't done in ages. There's Jonathan Hernandez. He's a lefty, too. That's crazy. Right, so he popped out in the infield, something he hasn't done since 2017, only 17 oh, time in his, in general, 17th time in his entire career. I think they said it was the first time popping out to first base, though, to the first baseman. That's for the Rangers. That's Jonathan Hernandez. That'll be for Alex Donnelly. Chris Davis should be arrested. Chris Davis should be arrested for stealing money? Yeah. Prison. Chris Davis is, is four for 45. He's got four hits, two doubles, yeah, a home on, run, eight RBIs. You got from last year. You got to carry that on. No, that doesn't That's count. That's what they were doing. They can't, that can't count. It's like a it's hit just streak. Like, no, a hit streak. Th yeah, they were trying to give Whit Merrifield like yeah. you can't give Whit Merrifield yeah, that. That counts. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does. No, the wraparound season does not I count. Think that counts. So he 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 should be allowed to beat Joe DiMaggio's hit streak. Well, he would have never. But if he got to that point, yeah. <laughs> if he got like fifty-eight or something, like what's the difference? They're games. It's not. It's not the same season though. Yeah. There's Colton Welker to one twenty-five for the Rockies. Well, then they should call it a single season hit record. Well, they should, actually. <laughs> Josh Hamilton should also be arrested. So should Albert Pujols. No, at least Pujols, Albert Pujols plays, yeah. though. He Pujols plays. Drugs. There's Bruce Dark Greaterall to 150. Because he didn't kill somebody. 61 out of 150. Like, like Josh Hamilton did. Josh Hamilton killed someone? He threw the ball to the outfield. And the... <gasps> All right. I mean, not that it's his fault, but I'm not... You're right, I remember it because it died, the person but... fell over. I forgot about that. Guys, remember Josh? That's probably why he's just battling demons. He's just feeling guilty about 
Yeah, then he the, robbed my the, angels. The death that he caused. Millions. Out of 499, Yachty. Wasted Trout's early years. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Brian O says Eric Thames is stealing money. How much money is he stealing, though? He didn't get that huge contract, though. Chris Davis is definitely stealing money. $161 million. Yeah, There's I'd, Matt Veerling for the Phillies. It'd be like if someone, if you got a huge raise at your job, but then you stopped working. Like you stopped being good at your job. <laughs> You're going to get fired or put in jail. That's what I think they should be. Put in jail. <laughs> Just put in jail? <laughs> yeah, if it's all guaranteed, put in jail. And then you, get, you have to spend the night in jail, but... If you play well, you can spend the night at your house. <laughs> I would love to see an owner implement that in baseball. Oh, man. I don't think the optics of white owners putting uh, minority players into jail is probably not, not good optics there. Yeah, Chris Davis. <laughs> That's true. Well, Chris Davis can go to jail. It'd be like... <laughs> You can have a private prison on the field. You can have a prison on the field. On just the they just get time. They're de like a penalty box. How about that? Yeah, and you can like go yeah. visit Chris Davis. Chris Davis in like an overnight penalty box. It's just like you were atoning for your sins. Yeah, exactly. There's Logan Webb for the Diamondbacks. Jonathan Martin. Only for Chris Davis. Because he's getting paid that much. Well, it looks like Ryan, you're gonna be here for a while. Exactly. I don't. I don't think we're gonna be getting stickers anytime soon. I don't think I'll be doing train whistles for stickers. We're going to do a case of FIFA World Cup stickers break. We should get stickers, though. But I think that they'd only be given away in group breaks as a prize. Something like that. It'll be, it'll be incentivized. Well, Russell Wilson, he's actually... Russell Wilson? No, yeah, Russell Wilson's good. What are you talking about? No, Nick's talking about players who get huge contracts and then are just bad. Basically, Chris Davis. Basically, Chris Davis, Josh yeah. Josh Hamilton. Zach Greinke. Zach Greinke's doing okay. He's up on But that 250 Willie Adams. He, like, doesn't want to play in the big market. And there's Marco Luciano He's to 499 awful. for the Giants. Yeah, that's why he left the Angels. No, Russell Wilson deserves that money. What 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 are the what are the well, Seahawks? Football, football's a lot different, I think, because you're putting your like life on the line. Well, Baseball, and, and, there's no risk. Right. For Chris Davis. Oh, Eric Davis is making fifteen and five, fifteen point five million dollars. That's not horrible, I guess, but the way contracts going these days. But he's not even starting. He should be starting for fifteen million dollars a year. What happened with him? He got like a. They found a, they found a black hole in his swing. Or your team should they should be relegation like in soccer. That would be interesting. To the AAA, send them down the whole team. <laughs> the Orioles will never back make it back up. Yeah. It's like that. If Alabama could Alabama beat the Browns a couple of years ago? <laughs> right. Which is no, right? Never. No. Yeah. yeah. Not be well, because all fifty of those guys were like the best guy. The all all the fifty guys of the guys are the best guys in college, right? Yeah. On a on an NFL roster, but Hugh not everybody in Alabama is going to go to Nick Saban. I think that's a bigger advantage. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's Suli Matthias, two twenty two to four ninety nine for the Royals. Another one for EA. But ML, I guess MLB is in the same way versus a triple A team. Probably a blowout. They do have exhibition games with college teams. Yeah. And I spring training, yeah. Those, yeah. So every once in a while you can kind of... But the MLB, they don't play their big guys. I, don't think. I think they play like the first inning just so yeah. some college kid can say, Mark I faced Michigan. off against Max Scherzer for a plate appearance. Right. All right, last little stack right here, folks. If you buy out a Thanks flawless for case, I'll, I'll make you a custom sticker. There you go, Ryan. Buy out a flawless case, we'll get you a custom sticker. 
Out of 499, there's Estuary Ruiz. As for the Padres, that's going to go to Jared with that one. Well, yeah, but in football, they set every quarterback will set the record. Right. Like last year, Kirk Cousins set it. He's not the best. Plus, a lot of it's not guaranteed. I bet. No, I don't think I don't think much of Russell Wilson's contract's guaranteed. He'll have to sign a new one when he dips in talent. No, every quarterback is going to set the record for contract. So that's the thing. Like Derek Carr did. He's not the best quarterback in the league, but he set the Stafford. He set the mark. Stafford set the mark. Cousins. After Derek Carr, then Cousins did, then Russell Wilson will, and the next free agent or the next quarterback looking for a payday is going to get paid even more than Russell Wilson. Out of fifty, Peter Lambert. I think Dak Prescott might be the next. Might be the next one. Jason Hayward's kind of a bad contract. The Hosmer deal isn't horrible. The Cabrera deal at thirty-nine years old. Yeah, but that might not have been the right thing. A Rod's a Hall of Famer. I think. I think he. I think he. His contract wasn't that bad. A Rod's a Hall of Famer. The problem was the Rangers couldn't afford that contract. They were the wrong team to pay him that money. Oh, okay, Ryan. Well, I guess no, no stickers then. Obi Wan, what's going on? All right, almost done with Jumbo. Pick your team one, folks, and we'll go through some orders, and we'll see what we're going to be doing after this. We got Brock Burke for the Rays. Not sure what that is, but... 166 out of 499 for the Rays. That'll be for Daniel. That's the Rays and pick your team one, Jumbo one. And the last bit here, and we'll do a little recap video of the autographs too after this. There's Aaron Nola, some paper. More paper and and there's uh, Julio Pablo Martinez. That might be our last autograph of Jumbo Picker Team One. Yeah, I should have too. I did. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So that's for the Rangers, and that will go to Alex Donnelly. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 2019 Bowman Baseball eight box HTA Jumbo Picker Team One in the books. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.